Morning Wager rolls on. Our best bet was a push. My play was a no action yesterday. However, Mark Zitto got us into the win column with his half of the double play. It was a first five under that featured just one run. It was the only run scored in that game between the Braves and D-backs. Zitto, we have very different attire on today, as the people can see. But first, please yeah. enlighten them with your half of the double play. Well, no, I mean, let's let's not gloss over what we're actually looking at here. Um, we're both out of a suitcase. The shirt you're wearing did not come out of a suitcase, uh, nor did it come off of any sane person's closet. Uh, what you're wearing is is an, an, an abomination of a Red Sox Hawaiian shirt that looks like it's some version of silk. Is that what it is? It is. It is. It is. This is okay. an incredible shirt. I'm wearing this shirt multiple, at least once a week on the show now. How, what how shirt? did you acquire? How did you? Did you buy that shirt? Absolutely not. It was given to me for free. It was Hawaiian shirt night last night at Fedway. So they gave it to me. So I took it. Uh, Brian Power is officially the guy who walks around Costco and tries every single piece of food that they offer for oh, free, even if he hates it. I've never even because been to you'll Costco. Take anything for free. If you're willing to take that shirt, you're willing to take anything for free. And that's what this what is the a issue good shirt, is. Man. <laughs> this is Speaking a great free, shirt. Here's a free play for us. Yeah, I know. Oh, here's a free there play you go. go. In my half of the play, I'm going to go look at the Houston Astros as they start a series with the Texas Rangers. Actually, a big series in the AOS here. Both of these teams are hunting down Seattle. But Houston gets Hunter Brown on the mound. Now, his last time out, he was bad. He got rocked by the Twins, went six innings, gave up 12 hits and seven runs. However, you and I have, have kind of logged Hunter Brown over this season. And the eight starts mm -hmm. prior to that, he gave up three runs or less in eight consecutive starts. In fact, he gave up one run or less in seven of those eight starts. So he's been on all season long. It's a good time to get back on him. As he had a bad start, we get back to some aggression. They're going up against Andrew Heaney, who is not a starter, uh, in my opinion. He wasn't very good last year, even though his numbers are a little better this year. But uh, three and nine on the year, that means the Rangers don't win often when he's on the mound. His whip is near 1.25. Uh, he's given up 12 home runs on the year. And moreover, this is a Houston Astros team that's top 10 at home against left-handed pitchers like Heaney, batting average, OPS, and WRC+. Plus. So it's a little bit of a hefty price here from a juice perspective on Houston, but uh, not willing to weigh, lay the one and a half in a situation against the Rangers here because I just the Rangers are sort of a buy on team for me here, but I like Houston at home uh, against this starter and Andrew Heaney for my half of the double play. Smash that like button if you like the Astros too. I, I like the Astros. I like Hunter Brown. He's done well for me this year. Uh, Mark, here's a shocker for you. We've got a team with a really poor run differential favored against a team with a really good run differential. And I'm back in the team behind door number behind door A, the team with the bad run differential, Tampa Bay. But I'll do it in the first five. Look, it's I'll keep this short and sweet, guys. The Rays have a big edge on the mound here at starting pitching matchup. The Guardians are going with Carlos Carrasco, who I, I think his days in this rotation are numbered. Uh, he has not won any of his last three starts. He's given up a homer in four straight starts. He's given up a ho 14 homers in his last 12 starts. His career numbers against Tampa Bay aren't very good. Meanwhile, you got Taj Bradley for the Rays. He's been pitching his tail off. How about a 1.29 ERA his past six starts with a 45 to 13 strikeout to walk ratio? If the Rays win this game, it's going to be because of the Bradley Carrasco matchup. So let's back Tampa Bay first five. I'll lay the half a run to reduce the juice down to minus 115. I expect the home team to be ahead after the first five innings in this one. Okay. Comment down below with your favorite bets in Major League Baseball for Friday. Our show best bet is coming up in just a minute. That 30-day special wager talk still going on for just $7 a day. You can get down with your favorite wager talk handicapper for 30 consecutive days. The All-Star break will count if, if, if I pass, if Mark passes, if whoever passes. Those four days will be tacked on to the end of your subscription. So you are getting 30 days of service. Mark, I know you have been on fire seeing it well the last three days over at your page. Yeah, 7-1-1 one and one with the push yesterday from Paul Skeens. Um, but we listen, uh, let's take take the runs when we can get them here. We'll have two plays up on the site tonight, wt.buzz slash mz. And oh, by the way, I think I'm on a run of 4-0 and free plays. So uh, – hitting for us right now so let's stay hot we'll do the best we can uh, continue to roll along uh wt.buzz slash mz
All right. I'll have something up as well on my page after the 3-0 sweep on Wednesday. My best bet was really poor last night. The LA Angels, I think, forgot to uh, – I took them plus one and a half. I needed to take them plus 11 and a half, it turned out, Zeno. Uh, they didn't show up to play. And guess what? We will have our revenge because our show best bet today, we're going against the Angels. We're taking Brian Woo against Tyler Anderson, Ooh. a guy who's expect the, the difference between uh, you know Tyler Anderson's expected and actual ERA is uh, much larger than this hotel room that I'm in right now. Uh, so I uh, wanted to tell the people even more reasons why to back Seattle in this one, which is our best bet. Well, you mentioned Tyler Anderson. He's actually worse at home than he is on the road. His ERA is actually a run and a half higher at home than it is on the road. We know the Angels are a bad road team, one of the least profitable, sorry, bad home team, one of the least profitable home teams in all of Major League Baseball this year. Seattle is always a tough play on uh, just because they strike out so much and their offense sometimes mm-hmm. can be pretty stagnant. But, you know, this is a spot here for Seattle that I like against Tyler Anderson. They should do enough here. We'll keep the Angels bullpen involved here and not cut this thing in half because they are bad, giving Seattle a chance late here, get a short price against Brian Wu, who's a pitcher we really like and certainly can mow him down. So, uh, Mariners, money line tonight. Best bet. Woo it is, Brian Wu. All right. If you already haven't done so, click that subscribe button. That way you don't miss any of the great content we've got here on the Wage Talk YouTube channel. Uh, Mark, it is Friday, and the All-Star break is upcoming, so our next show will not be until next Friday, a week from now, I believe, is the current plan. Always stay tuned. You never know uh, when something could come up. But uh, you're on assignment. I'm on vacation wearing this tremendous T-shirt. This is what they give you when you cash it under at Fenway Park, by the way, Mark. Uh, Patty Johnson, by the way, is not a Boston native, apparently. They give me the thumbs down. But Patty, I was screaming to see if Patty was around. Uh, I don't think she lives in Boston. I was like, is Patty Johnson here? No response. But... There is no better way to go into the weekend. I mean, that shirt is a sloppy part, right? It is. It is. I mean, I don't want to see. I'll tell you what, this stuff kind of makes you just want to unbutton the t-shirt, doesn't it? And get you going. All right. On that note, it is the weekend. Thank you. He's Mark Zeno. I'm Brian Power. Head on over. Don't forget about that 30-day special. Everybody have a safe weekend. We'll see you after the All-Star break. Cash is Always come.